All right, so I finally got some time and I'm catching up with Julie Green's videos because we want to continue to document her absolute blasphemous false prophecies where she just flippantly throws out the name of God as though God Almighty actually spoke these things. You can see the title. Look at the date. This is very important. This is well before the midterm elections. Look at the views. Simply astonishing how many people believe that this woman is a true prophet. But what you're going to hear right now, remembering that, <clears throat> that this was before the midterms, this is her prophecy of a midterm victory. There is no ambiguity. Listen. And even a depression. In the coming weeks and months, your enemies will make things look darker and more impossible. Watch all they will try to do after the midterms to stay in power. They will not leave quietly. They will not accept defeat. They see the red, and red terrifies them. There are too many coming into power after winning. They will know they can't turn them. They can't blackmail them, or break them, or bribe them. They realize their rule is over, and they will soon become a reality. As they try to do these things, remember these words. They lose. They will fail. They are finished. Your enemies who are up against you. Sorry, remember that again. Your enemies who you are up against are not up against just you. My children, they are up against me, and I never lose, say the Lord of hosts. The arrogance of this woman is, it's just shocking how someone, again, can just so casually throw the name of our living God out there as though he spoke these words. And clearly, you can hear that she was prophesying a midterms victory. And she was dead wrong. And it didn't come to pass. This is an absolute false prophecy. Now, as I play this next clip, listen closely, and then I'm going to show you something. The irony here is breathtaking. People are about to scream election fraud. And proof will overwhelm. Your enemies. So, as you heard Ju Julie Green prophesy that the Democrats were going to scream uh, stolen elections, uh, this is later after the midterms. I made this video, and this is an interview. I made this video two weeks ago uh, after the midterms. And here, Julie Green uh, will just listen. On me and stand on my word. Yes. There was a red wave last week. There yes. was. They stole it. But, and it was unprecedented. But the thing is, even though if that would have gone that way and they wouldn't have stolen the, the way they stole So here, after the midterms, even though we know that Julie Green prophesied a Republican victory, that it was going to be red, and she even said that God said uh, they will lose and uh, that God doesn't fail or whatever she said. Here she is after the midterms saying that the elections were stolen when she prophesied that the Democrats were going to be the ones saying this. It's unbelievable. Now, I'm going to play you a clip. This was from October 20th. And again, look at the view count. Listen to what she says here. Great upsets are about to take place politically for your enemies. Great, uh, great defeats are about to be seen. Defeat so big your enemies couldn't cheat enough to stay in their positions of power. Oh yes, red wave is coming. But it's not just a wave, but a tsunami is coming for the side of the blue. Red, I say, will be seen and red will have great victories. But woe to those on the side of the red. 
great, uh, great defeats are about to be seen. Defeats so big your enemies couldn't cheat enough to stay in their positions of power. So here she says that the enemies, or here, let me back up. Here she says that God Almighty said, victory is so great uh, that the enemies couldn't cheat to stay in power. So again, just blatant lies in the name of Jesus Christ. God did not speak these things because again, even after I showed you the clip, after the midterms, she came out and said that the Democrats cheated. And, and so which is it, Julie? And, and do you think any of the 195,000 or before the, the, two, the over 260,000 on that other video, you think any of those followers even care about the truth of Jesus Christ, that this woman is out speaking the vain imaginations from her own political heart? It is stunning to watch all this. There's not enough adjectives that I can come up with to express my shock and absolute uh boy what disappointment it is disappointment for the body of christ who believes this nonsense this woman is an absolute liar now we're looking at a different video this one was published on october 18th you can see the title uh listen to <laughs> listen to her rip a page out of timothy dixon and uh, robin bullock's book Woe to those who are mocking my children that I have put on this earth to warn the body of Christ and the nations. I am the judge over all the earth, and I will show who is false and who is true. I will prove my words through them. I will give my chosen people, my prophets of today, more manifestations of my words that are undeniable to all who doubt them. So again, it's ironic uh, for those that have ears to hear and eyes to see, God is actually showing you who is true and false. And she puts the warning out against uh, those who mock the prophets. But trust me, I'm not worried in the slightest because God truly is showing those who would uh, listen who is false. And clearly, this is undeniable evidence um, that she is, again, false. But people eat it up again. Her followers just eat it all up as though she's speaking from authority. She's not. False prophets are about as far away from God as one could be because they are those who come forward and make their living lying, literally lying in the name of Jesus Christ. They are enemies of the cross. My glory will be seen on them, and the ones who are standing against them repent and repent now before judgment comes. These are the days where you have to choose the side you are on. These are the days to stand for truth or to be on the side of lies and defeat. Hey, that point is actually very valid. So for the listeners, Whose side are you on? You can search my video library and see uh, the many videos that I've done which categorically uh, show you how many false prophecies this woman has put out. Uh, but she likes to put the threats out there and uh, I'll be one to raise my hand and say I absolutely stand against her. God is not speaking through her. She doesn't scare me, even as Deuteronomy chapter 18 says, we are not to fear false prophets. I don't fear her. I stand against her. God is not speaking through her in any way, shape, or form. So this next clip, I'm, I'm just kind of kind of doing this as I go here because I, I come across so much blasphemy. This is cultish. But listen to what she tells her brainwashed followers here. These days do not stop fighting the good fight of faith. You are in a time where your feelings will try to overwhelm you, especially those who are not listening to my prophets or paying attention to my written words. Wow. So you better listen to the prophets. 
see and you know your feelings are up i don't know what would uh what would be a good a good example of the followers feelings overwhelming them i don't know maybe the fact that julie has been speaking uh lies that for example donald trump was going to return to the white house for like a year and a half two years now and people are like well i don't know and they they start to question her and so what does she do she well she comes out with a Surprise, surprise, a new prophecy that says, oh, thus saith the Lord, you know, uh, some of you are having strange feelings, but uh, you better keep listening to the prophets because she's starting to get doubters. So they come out and they say, well, God said that. It wasn't me. It was God. It's just unbelievable. All right. So from this same video, again, dated October 18th, this is what, three weeks before the midterms? Listen to what she says. Watch the midterms. There's not only a red tsunami that will take place, but every thief and every cheater will be caught in their attempts to steal another election. So clearly she's saying that God speaking here is saying that it won't be stolen, that in fact they'll be caught. Is that what happened? No, no, it is not. This woman is a false prophet. That's the, the third clip, third or fourth, that I've shown you in this video. So as I wrap this video up, I'm going to show you a list in just a second. But there's also a separate list that I'm keeping that I will be doing a video shortly where I will show you that list, all the false prophecies that Julie Green has made over the course of the last year or so. And even borrowing uh, one of her terms, it is undeniable. And so we wanted to get this on. And again, I apologize for being late with this. I know the midterms were a couple of weeks ago, but I'm just finding the time to catch up. And I did want to document this because categorically, she prophesied, in her words, a red tsunami, uh, a red wave that the Republicans were going to, even saying that God said, uh, he, in reference to the midterms, that uh, he doesn't lose as though God said that, uh, or that the, uh, the Democrats would lose, the Democrats would fail. You can go back and listen to it. Um, so before I wrap it up, so let's summarize what we just watched and heard in this video. Julie Green's midterms lying confusion. Number one, prophesied at least three times a midterms victory. She said that God said this. Number two, she also said that God said the elections would not be stolen. Hmm. Number three, the Democrats retain control of the Senate. So the midterms come and go. The, the, uh, there was no red wave. The Democrats are still in power in the Senate. Number four, well, surprise, surprise, she says with Dave Scarlett after the midterms that, well, hey, guess what? The elections were stolen. By the way, this calls God a liar. Number five, because she didn't accept responsibility for this false prophecy, she directly places blame on God for the false prophecy. Now, I've said this before, and I'll say it again. When it comes to prophecy, the office of a prophet, there are only two parties involved, the prophet and God. So what does that mean when the prophet doesn't accept responsibility? They don't repent for the false prophecy. Who gets the blame? Well, there's only one other party. And that would be God. So it's not bad enough that they actually came and falsely prophesied, lying in the name of Jesus Christ. But after the fact, they then turn around and place the blame on God. Think about this. And of course, number six, her followers do not biblically reject her. Surprise, surprise, right? They don't reject her. They're having too much time getting their itching ears tickled, as you can certainly verify that through the, uh, the amount of views that she gets. But again, feel free to check out my library. There's many videos I've done on Julie Green. Uh, she is a certified, verified false prophet. It's not even a debate. This, At this point, it's just sillier and sillier every day. But for those that would finally awaken, I pray you would uh, come back to Jesus Christ. The gospel of Jesus Christ is easily read and loved and adored. Get back into your Bible. Pray, seek God in truth and sincerity.